All right, John Prescott, the big problem with the, the big problem of, is the, him. Ha, hang on a second. The big problem is it sounds plausible. Well, it may be plausible, but he gives you no evidence for it. He quotes 24 carat sources. Why doesn't he mention them? Journalists can always hide behind having said something. Really, Jer uh, Jeremy, I can't tell you that because I'm protecting the sources. You've got to remember on his original book, he made an awful lot of highly personal comments about Gordon Brown. That got all the publicity then. This is about money for a book. And that man has not given any proof of his allegations. These remain allegations. You've never seen the Prime Minister get angry? Yes, I've seen him get angry. Have, I think have you ever you heard him swear? Wait, and if you asked him, he said he'd seen me get angry. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of problems in politics. No, sure. no, no greater problems than this, pri this Prime Minister has had. He is actually on the ball aggressive about getting solutions to problems but he doesn't get bullying it's not his style but he is a man who's impatient he does want to make a difference and when i hear people saying civil servant oh you know it was difficult to deal with him he was the man who didn't want to go in the ERM. most people disagreed with him but he was right and he fought for that he got it and thank god we didn't the problem with your position is that you weren't party to any of these conversations and I, indeed, I suspect, have not spoken to many of the people who were involved in the conversation. No, but I'm not quoting them, Jeremy. I'm no, just saying... You're they just think... denying point blank. Well, what I'm saying, there are allegations. I think in your brilliant interview there, you brought it out in the man. He ducks behind, he's staying secret, 24 carat sources, but no evidence. And he when had, a man, he at least a man who's the cabinet secretary, we on, you this haven't. three times, three times says it's not true, he then still says, well, of course he would say that. Well, he can always resort to that, can't he? It sells the book, it makes a political point, but it's on allegations, not substance. Do you believe not a word of this, then? Well, I believe when give me proof or quote to somebody and I can argue he with that. He has given you proof. No, he hasn't given any proof. The man he says, on, on the American he talked about, he's completely denied it. The Cabinet Secretary said we didn't say that and I haven't had such a discussion. So where was proof of anything? What is proof? He's talked to a lot of insiders who give a lot of tittle-tattle and he makes money about putting it in the book without saying who they are. That's not journalism. That's gutter journalism. I suggest to you it's a lot more plausible than Peter Mandelson saying the whole thing's a Tory plot. Well, I think the problem with the Tory plot argument was Mr Cameron came out and said, I think this is a political, this is an issue that should be investigated at number 10, because if a person's a bully, is implying he shouldn't be in the job. But he's the man who actually employed Andy Coulson, who is the actual convicted bully, and had to pay £800,000 right. compensation, and he's made him his medium of communication. Luckily, and by the way... Yes, luckily or went, otherwise, Mr Prescott, there's no danger 10. of Andy Coulson being Prime Minister. Minister. <laughs> no, but you said he would take him into number 10 okay. with him. All right. Uh, apparently, I'm distracted by our editor. I had to apologise for quoting what you say the Prime Minister said and using the, the, the F word there. So, uh, there we are, on oh, satisfied yeah. now. Yeah. Now, let, let's turn to these uh, three... Yeah, but can I come back on some of the things John Prescott no, you, said? Wait, in is it interesting? Don't yeah, give him another go unless I'm coming back. No, no, well, we, can't, we can't take more of both of you. Got three, otherwise, I might come away from this feeling right, rather bullied be by Mr Prescott. You'll be very quick then. Come I just want to be very quick. I just want to say, I think it is extraordinarily rich for John Prescott to accuse people of publishing memoirs to make money when when his party was still in government he published his own memoir revealing confidential conversations he claims he had with, with his colleagues names, and not only that John I'm gonna finish this point your <laughs> wife has recently published a memoir and had it serialized in the Daily Mail for a price you might now care to tell us so we can have two bites of the Prescott's for one I don't think we want all to right. hear any more but, from uh, you about oh, people hang on, hang doing on. this to sell books. But, but all, all right, the Jeff. names, all the quotes I had, the names, I didn't duck like a coward. But we only had your words for it that any of your books are true. My, well, the names are there. You can go and ask them. That's all right. more than we can get from you. 